Hi everyone, it's time for phonics and we're going to start today with our new sound. Here we go, listen and repeat after me. It's a bit like when you want someone to be quiet and you tell them, shh, you're being too noisy, be quiet. So there's lots of words that begin with shh. Let's see. First of all, we have this. You see what this is? It's my shoe. Shoe. So we put the shoe on our feet. Very good. Um, other words that have shh in. Can you hear? Do you know what noise go? Which, uh, which animal goes? There we go. It's a sheep. Yes, that's right. So we've got shoe and sheep. And um, I guess if you want to go and buy some things, you probably would go to a shop. Uh, oh, this side, actually. So, yeah, we have a shop. And so lots of words there for us to think about, beginning with sh, shop, shoe and sheep as well. Um, I guess you want to have a look at it, don't you? Well, the way we remember this sound is that we, we remember that the, the horse is sitting there with the snake and the horse is getting really angry. Do you know why? Because the snake keeps going It's getting very angry. So do you know what the horse does? He turns to the snake and he says, Shh. He says, Shh. Stop making that noise. So when you see the snake and the horse together, you can just remember the story that the snake is being noisy and the horse tells him to Shh. stop being noisy. So that's how we know this is the Shh sound. Right, when I put this behind my back, see if you can tell me when you see this side, I want you to say shh. When you see this side, I want you to say shh, said the horse to the hissing snake. Ready, let's see if you can get this right. What is this one? Shh, said the horse to the hissing snake. Good. What about this one? Shh, good job. What about this one? Shh, again, well done. One more. Shh, said the horse to the hissing snake. Well done, guys, that's really good. It's time for me to put this into our pack. Let's see how many of these sounds you can get right. I want you to say the sound before I say it. That way I know that you definitely got, got it right. Okay, as quick as we can now, guys, let's go. Uh, this is our new sound, leg. Here we go. Down the long leg. Eh. <sighs> this is another new one, isn't it? This is horse. Here we go. Down the head to the hooves and over his back. <sighs> B. Ah. Ah. That's our new one, isn't it? It's how do we say it? said the horse to the hissing snake. Well done. We'll see if that comes up again in a moment. <laughs> Duh.
Mmm. Nice big smile for that. Mmm. Good. said the horse to the hissing snake. I. O. S. Very good guys, you've done really well with that. Give yourselves a little pow, pow, pow. Okay, it's time for a story. Now, one day, I was sitting at my house doing a phonics lesson when suddenly, ah, Fred, what are you doing here? Ah, he's really scared. What's wrong? He's seen a leopard. Ah, oh, it's so scary. Quick, what should we do? Should we run home? Let's run, everybody. Ah, 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 ah. Quick, open the door. Shh. <laughs> Quick, close the door. Right, what should we do? Let's hide in, let's hide in the bedroom. Let's put our blanket over our head. Oh my word, so scary. We nearly saw a leopard. Whew, would have been very bad, wouldn't it? What's that knocking at the door? There's more knocking. I wonder who it should be. Should we open the door, Fred? Fred says no. Do you think we should open the door? I'm not sure. <gasps> We've got to open the door. It might be something important. Let's see who's there. Let's go and open the door. Ha <sighs> ha! Ah! It's a leopard! Ah! Quick, run back to the bed! <laughs> Ah. Oh, don't be sad. Don't be scared of me. Oh, he's not scary after all. I'm just a leopard. My name is Leopard Friend. I'd like to play with you, Fred. Oh, would that be okay, Fred? You don't need to be scared of leopards because he's not going to eat you. He just wants to play with you. Is that all right? Oh, he says yes. So, Scott and Fred and Leopard Friend. Hi. We played a game of hide and seek. Where did Fred hide? He ran away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come, said Leopard Friend. And he went to look for Fred everywhere. He looked down here. He looked up here. He looked this way. And he looked this way. But then he found Fred. And here he is. He was sitting in the mud. Ah, oh, yuck. Why did you sit in the mud, Fred? Oh, I really wanted to win hide and seek. Oh dear, we're gonna have to clean him up now, aren't we? We have to take him to the sink and we're gonna have to wash him in the water. Okay, he's all nice and clean now. No more mud. Deary me, Fred. Okay, don't sit in the mud again. Do you understand? Do not sit in the mud. Okay, he knows. Good. Here's our first word today. And remember, don't write anything yet until we've finished writing it first. So, first word today is... I. Hmm, what's that word? S-it. 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 
Well, it sounds a lot like sit, doesn't it? Did you get that? The word is sit, sit. Your turn. Very good, well done. So let's say that word together a few times. Sit, sit, sit. I sit on my stool. What do you sit on at home when you watch this video? What do you sit on? Are you on the carpet? Are you on the sofa? Hmm, what do you sit on? Okay, I'm going to write the word sit now. So I'm gonna take my pen. Remember, this is my turn. You're not gonna write yet. Just wait a little bit. Uh, I need to write sit. What's that first sound, sit? I think it is a s, isn't it? So I'm going to slither down the snake. Sit, sit. Oh, you can hear an i. So I'm going to go down the insect body. Dot his head. Sit, sit. Can you hear that last sound? S, i. Very good. Down the tower, across the tower. Let's read this together. Ready? And my turn. Sit. Sit. Your turn. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to pick up your pencil and paper. I want you to write the word sit now and press pause on the video. Right, welcome back. I hope you have written the word sit. Let's see what you have written. Is it the same as this? Sit. Sit. If you've done that, then well done. That is the word we've written today. The first word is sit. So give that a wipe because it's time for us to do our next word. Ready? Here we go. Mmm. Ah. D. Let me think about that. Mmm. Ah. D. Mmm. Ah. D. If you do it faster, it sounds easier. Mmm. Ah. D. Mmm. Ah. D. Oh, what's that word? Did you say mud? Mmm. I think that's what it is. So my turn. M a d mud. Your turn. Really good. Well done. So let's say that a few times. Mud, mud, mud. Remember where Fred was hiding when he played hide and seek with Leopard Friend? He was hiding in the mud, wasn't he? And he got all dirty and we had to clean him up. Terrible. Anyway, we're going to write the word mud now. So I'm going to get my pen again and I'm going to write mud. So it starts with, what does it start with? Mud. Mud. Can you hear? Mm. Excellent. So I'm going to go down Maisie, over the mountain, over the mountain. There we are. Mud. Mud. Yeah, so there's an uh in the middle there. Down, under, up. And don't forget to draw the puddle. Mud. Mud. Can you hear that last sound in mud? Yeah, it's a d there, isn't it? So we've got to start up this side, away from the umbrella. And we go round the dinosaur's body up to the top of his tall neck and down to his feet. Okay, I think we've done mud, so I'm gonna put the lid on my pen. I'm going to read it first, my turn. M, a, d, mud, your turn. Very good, now it's your turn to write the word mud. So with your pencil and paper, I want you to write well, first of all, press pause and then write the word mud. 
Okay, welcome back. And if you've written the word mud, let's have a look to see if you've got the same as me. Here we are. Have you managed to write like this? Let's do it together. M a d mud. If you've got that, well done. Uh, yeah, who in our story was covered in mud? Was it Leopard Friends? No, it wasn't Leopard Friend, was it? It was. It was Fred. He was covered in mud in our game of hide and seek. Ugh. Dirty mud. Okay, guys, that was excellent. Been very impressed with your phonics. Keep up the good work, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.